What's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play. And yes, I'm starting back from the main new because remember, I don't have the full version yet, so I have a time limit to how long I can play. Now let's continue from where we left off and see if we can find anything new. Last time I cut it some parts like me making my sword and pickaxes and me mining coal. I didn't really need to cut them, but however, the video was long, and I would rather cut me crafting those things than to cut me walking and naturally seeing some stuff that I wanted to keep in the video. Now, I haven't tried to record the Xbox again yet, but I might try sooner or later. But at least, with at least, I don't have to constantly wait for a new game to start. So, yeah, I still have a lot of time. Okay then, so it's about to be night time, so I desperately need to build a house soon. Oh my god, if it isn't a zombie zombie jockey. No, there's something I really don't get. Why do they have to make the baby zombie write literally everything on this version? He even writes pigs for God's sake. Yesterday while I was editing, I noticed that my video had some lag spikes on it. The thing is that it wasn't actually present while I was my character on the or not. It wasn't actually present while I was actually recording. Like, while I was playing, I didn't see any lag spots. Those were just the videos I said, oh. You see, that was a lag spike I definitely did notice. But the other lag spikes, those weren't present while I was playing. Those are things only that only happened while I was on the video. I believe I mentioned that in my video, I said that if something bad happens while well, during the recording, I won't know until I'm done recording it. And on here, even if the video turns out shitty, I still have to upload it, because it's, once again, it's not, it's not an unlimited time world where I can just restart the video. No, I have to keep whatever I have. I have to start the game from the main menu and end it on the main menu. So therefore, I don't waste time that I could have used to actually play. Okay, well I'm in the snow barn and I really need to get out. I need to find a scent. The reason for that is because I really need to make my map a lot more bigger. Even though I'm gonna lose actually I don't know if it's a good idea to make my map bigger. I mean after all I haven't found that much area and haven't found it that It's kind of refreshing to play in keyboard and mouse over a controller. So yeah, anyway, so if my video gets longer than 15, I'll cut out some parts where I'm not talking at all, or at least not talking for a long period of time. If I just don't talk for a short period of time, cutting it out ain't gonna be that much of a difference. But if I cut out long parts where it's just drawn out, just me walking randomly, not doing anything, only doing some chuckles or minor talking that's not important, then yes, I will definitely cut this part. So. And I'm good, definitely gonna leave this part in. Just so you guys know if you guys see a random cut. So, you know. It's better off to edit because sometimes the raw footage and that is interesting. That's the cut up footage. Oh, zombie! <laughs> Please don't blow up on it. No way! It was coming up. Anyway, the reason why I'm gonna, the reason why I like recording in the morning, so I have more stuff to do later on in the afternoon. And I'm hoping I can do a certain test later on this afternoon. Maybe not, depends. If my friends want to play, I'll probably do that. 
you know, none of my friends want to play for me yet, so I definitely attempt to do what it is. Then again, I still need a rise. It all depends to whether or not I have the tough. Yo, I really hate the drowns, especially the ones with the train. I swear, my mouse sensitivity is hella high. I can't, I can't even look down with that going, without my character going down and so. So yeah, I definitely have enough to, well, more than enough to make my level 3 map a level 4. I'm just going to have to go outside of the boundary of this map, then make a whole new map there. Even though it's not going to work, it's just going to give me a storage space. I'm wait, wait, is that a village? Please tell me. Yep, it's a village. Finally, some place I can crash down on. Alright, let's see if we can harass some villagers on here. Okay, that's just a stone cutter. Just saves you cobblestone. Most people could care less if they're saving cobblestone. But that, those are only the people that carry too much cobblestone on Yeah, so I'm sleeping now. Okay, my new spawn point has been set. Interesting. I'll be crashing down at this village for a little bit longer. So, look down at the clock. I'm going to try to end the video at 10.30. Hey, kitty cat, kitty cat, wait up. Wait up! No! You freaking zombie. Huh. You know, one rotten flesh gives you less hunger bars. You know, two rotten flesh actually gives you more hunger bars than you originally had. Well, when you start eating, as long as you don't sprint like it was. No, I swear to God, I'm gonna have to fix the settings by the next video. Thank you, villager. You actually saved me some carrots. So yeah, the villagers will actually mine carrots and they will replace them. Except for this one, you bitch! Aren't you gonna replace that bitch? Yo, hello, key. Oh no, I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the sentence as far as it crouch. Uh. I need someone. I wonder if I can trade his own cards to him. I wonder. He, no, I can't trade with him. Before you guys say, well, why don't you do the right click with him? Well, if I'm capable of trading cards with him, look. Huh? You see? No care. If I'm capable of trading carrots with him, he'll hold out an emerald sign saying that he's willing to buy those carrots. He does sell potatoes though. I mean, he's willing to buy potatoes. 
So another curious thing I noticed in the last video was that whenever every time I will mine something or break some stuff, the game audio will tend to be louder than my actual voice. So yeah, and I'm gonna make sure that anytime I'm cutting down thing, cutting down some things and destroying some things, I'll make sure to talk louder than usual just so I can get what I'm trying to say. Oh hello. Okay, in case you guys don't know, the green villagers, they they represent the homeless. That's why they have nothing to sell or nothing to buy. Because they got nothing. They just live at the village. In fact, they don't even have a house in the village. They just spawn and sleep. Well, these villagers have a higher chance of dying, basically. Are you the one that buys carrots? Yep! This this guy is, huh? this guy's wanting to buy some I have a carrot farm but I still want some food. And then I can use this one thing to buy bread. I'll start saving these things up. Oh I still have four carrots, sorry. I thought I completely lost the carrot. I can still start my own carrot farm by the time I actually find a good Okay, remind me not to check on my map for a while <laughs> until I find some new stuff. One of my friends points out what I'm talking about in the comments. <laughs> Pretty sure the moment I, I mentioned that they probably looking at the map, but before that they probably didn't even notice what what was wrong with it? Hey, yeah, so I need I need potatoes as well. You know, it's fine. I'm, I'll farm these ones. <coughs> you bitch! You better not have. Of course, he took them. Of course. Yeah, it's just too nice to ask for. I'll let you replant them just because you won't really take your damn carrots. Bring potatoes. How long, I wonder, how long have I been calling a carrots? Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Are you not gonna replant? Okay, then. plan just doesn't have to more than enough carrots to scam your friend. I mean, potatoes! So, you are the one that buys potatoes, right? Yeah. Huh? Whew. <laughs> Easy way to get rich. Steal their damn potatoes. And carrots. Actually, just steal whatever they have and replant them. And... But as long as you're not buying bread, you're good. Okay, what does this sell? <laughs> One emerald for an empty map? I mean, I can make my own empty maps. But it's kind of a rip of how, how if I give you 24, assuming I don't have emeralds yet, how if I give you 24 paper and you give me an emerald, you'll give me a damn empty map. When I could have just crafted it in my own empty map with nine of them or one of them, if I make the, the table that actually makes the map bigger. Well, so I wonder before this 1.14 up, 1.11 update came out, actually, before the update where they added the tables came out, how, how would Bedrock players make their maps bigger? In fact, how will Java players make their map bigger? bigger? Do, do you buy the maps? Wait, I wonder if I drop. Please tell me you guys are not playing tomato already. Are these guys going to mate or something? No, okay. 
Huh? Yeah. Here, I'll just switch that to my sword. Okay, 10.30. Alright, good enough. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it. Please leave it in the comments below. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Peace out.